on the board for all of like 45 days. So I take no credit for what occurs here. I've been the chair of the, of the board now for like 32 days. And so I, a special recognition has to be given out to former chair Degnan and executive director Pat Foy for their leadership over the last couple of years. And to Molly's point about Rick Cotton, he very much wanted to be here. He was called out of state. Um, for those who don't know, Rick and I are working very closely together on many of these initiatives. As we go through the port facilities and the port complexes and meeting the port employees, we are utterly, utterly blown away by the dedication of the Port Authority members, their mission statement. And just as an FYI, we sent um, four of our, our employees down to Houston last week. We sent Ira and Michael, Michael and Harry, to help out with some of the infrastructure concerns. We're talking to them daily. And this is what we in the port do. We help. Uh, they'll be coming back tomorrow. They may be actually being shipped down to Florida the following week, but I want to let you know they're doing very well. We can't overstate what today is all about. It is a game changer. It will change the economic engine. It will supersize the economic engine in New York and New Jersey. Steve Play talks about those numbers, about 350,000 jobs, and you talk about $21 billion of personal income, depending on this shipping, $53 billion in business, $7 billion in taxes in federal, state, county, and local. This is the engine that could and will, because of the dedication of every partner here, behind me and in front of me. And a couple people have to be, there has to be some acknowledgments. First, the two governors, Governor Cuomo and Governor Christie, the vision, the foresight to have the dredging done, to create this bandwidth to allow these big ships. And that's a big ship. And they have to have a think about this. We said, okay, the bridge, Bayonne, is 151 feet. It's too small. What do we do? Typically, you build one next to it and you destroy it. So somebody came up with the idea, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just add 64 feet to this and not impede the traffic. We're going to allow this bridge to maintain its traffic flow, by and large. Mayor Bayon may disagree with that, whether we had um, some interference. But that's what we did. It's a modern-day miracle. And Mayor Davis and to the council president, all the folks out of Bayon, I want to thank you personally. Wonderful commitment that your folks had wonderful cooperative spirit that your folks had. I know it wasn't always easy, so I want to say thank you. And thank you to the folks in Elizabeth, the folks in Newark. I know Senator Ruiz is here, County Executive Joe DiVincenzo. The commitment that these local shareholders had, it wouldn't have been done without you folks. And also for the folks from Staten Island. I don't know if any from Staten Island, they make it here, Molly? Anybody from Staten Island? Well, they're here in spirit, I'm sure. But I want to thank all of those folks for making that commitment and making this work. And to the folks behind me, first of all, we have the CEO, get this, the CEO from the Panama Canal, Jorge, right, traveled from Panama, followed this ship because that ship passed his canal, and he says, I have to see where the end is for that ship. Now, Jorge, you should know, this is 14,000, and that's your capacity. We can handle 18,000 here. We here in New York and New Jersey can handle capacity of 18,000. I'm not saying we do it better than Panama, but we do it better than Panama. <laughs> I said it respectfully, Jorge. So to the people behind me, Mark and Greg, our commitment to you, we welcome you here, first of all. We know you're part of our thriving industry. If there's anything we can do for you to upsize business, I know you're a great uh, contributor, we're here for you. And I think it's appropriate, I'll leave you on this, because I know you don't want folks just standing at the microphone, I was struck by the name that you have, CMA, T. Roosevelt, right? He was a governor in New York, and T. Roosevelt, as you well know, was one of our famous presidents. And I said, there's got to be something magical about that name. I don't know why you picked it, but I stumbled on a quote in the inaugural address in March of 1905 that I'll leave you with. And this is what President Roosevelt said. On being American, much has been given us and much will be right, rightfully be expected from us. We have duties to others and duties to ourselves, and we can sh shirk neither. We have become a great nation, forced by the fact of its greatness into relations with other nations of the earth. And we must behave and be seen as the people with such responsibilities. This partnership, the folks from Panama, 
Sweden, France, across this world is what President Roosevelt was talking about in March of 1905. And it's because of the commitment of the port and the folks at the terminal we're making that dream realized. I thank you all very much.